What is going on guys? I am back with a new episode of the car series and this is 21st episode I guess I don't remember but uh, this is probably gonna be the second last episode and uh, after the next episode I'm gonna start the AI series of this car game. Okay so today uh, we're gonna focus on creating a effect which is gonna be a collision effect in which our car is gonna collide with some object and it will gonna generate a spark and also it will gonna generate a uh, collision sound alright so it's gonna be pretty easy so I'm just gonna jump right onto it and let me show you how to do that inside of Unity so for that you need two files first is gonna be the sound file which is gonna be here uh, the link is in the description if you wanted to download it a uh, friend of mine has created it for me so it's really good okay so you can get this file just go to the link in the description and you'll download it alright so all you have to do is to drag and drop inside of Unity to import it. So I'm just going to drop it inside of the SFX folder. There you go. There's the sound file. And uh, let's just check it out. Pretty fine, right? So the next thing that we need is, call, uh, is a particle system. Now I'm not going to show you how to create that particle system because I probably know you know how to create that because I showed you in my previous tutorials. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import some default assets from Unity. So it's going to be pretty easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and go assets, import package, and I'm going to go particles. Now in this particle uh, package, what you have to do is to import some of this stuff. The first thing that I like to import is going to be over here, misc spark, and uh, this is spark material. And by the way, that's prefab okay so you need it and a material and its texture which is spark here okay and import it and some import it so you can go standard assets particles misc there you go there we have our particle system with its material and so we don't have to worry about that if you go and drag it out you can see this particle system is pretty fine so I'm just gonna use this one if you want your own effect you can just go ahead and create it and use it. okay so what I'm gonna modify in this particle system is I'm gonna turn on this auto destruct so it will gonna destruct itself after generating that spark once because the one shot is enabled so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the uh, simulation workspace so it will be kind of realistic but it doesn't really matter because you know I'm just gonna disable it uh, no I'm just gonna enable it uh, I'm gonna use one more thing okay so random rotation also turn on so it's gonna really cool thing and uh, turn on the auto destruct so it will gonna destruct by itself now this is not happening in this so I'm just gonna go to my imported one and uh, go apply and apply will gonna apply to the prefab alright now you can delete it and uh, now what you have to do is to go on to the car script because all the code that we are gonna be putting is gonna be inside of the car script so let's just open it up um, come on okay now let's just go at the top okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna create this uh, variable which is gonna be the spark particle system so I'm just gonna go ahead and type variable spark and it's gonna be an alt type game object game object alright uh, now we're gonna introduce to a new function called um, what's called uh, on collision enter so I'm just gonna go ahead and tick on function wait a second function on enter so basically what on collision enter means it will gonna detect the collision once a object collided with the object with other object alright so it was just gonna detect the collision and it will gonna detect only once because once the collider is collided with the object it won't gonna detect any more collisions it will just gonna detect once when the collider is collided with the object alright uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put two parameters here which is gonna be 
only one parameter basically so it's gonna be other is to collision and uh, it's collision alright so we have over here other is to collision so what this other means it will gonna detect the other colliders which are colliding with our collider which is attached to the car now if you look at it over here uh, wait a second uh, okay no problems okay so if you look at the car there is no collider attached to the uh, main game object but there are colliders which are child object of the main car now in unity these child colliders are the ch collider of the parent so it behaves like the parent has a collider so you don't have to worry about that to attach the collider to the main game object. you don't have to worry about that leave it like that okay and if we're gonna work so it's gonna be other is to collision and one more thing i like to introduce to you is gonna be let me show you open up the scripting reference uh, i'm just gonna switch to scripting contact points okay so if you look at it over here the variable contact is a array okay so what it does it um let me every car contact contacts a content point normal to the collided um okay 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 mm contacts okay so it is an of type array so what it means is that when uh, when a lot of colliders are colliding with the game object it will gonna detect a point where the colliders are being collided with the object and that point is the point that we need because at that point we're gonna instantiate our uh, spark effect so it can be accessed by uh, it because it's inbuilt inside of unity so it's pretty easy for us to access it so I'm just gonna because it's an array it's a whole lot more easy okay so it just it stores a vector 3 variable that we can access and we're gonna access that variable to generate our effect so let's just move on to it okay so if you want you can read it about m or read about it more I'll give you a link in the description to the official post uh, the official reference of it so you can read it if you want okay uh, so now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go car control script one more thing uh, to the car there should be a variable showing up okay so this is a spark we're gonna go misc and uh, misc oh my god my PC is lagging like hell so please ignore that if you experience any lags in this video because uh, I'm using a a lot big resolution right now and my computer isn't power enough to handle that so it's kind of a problem for me and it sucks believe me okay uh, the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create an if statement which is gonna be other is to uh, other dot transform is not equals to transform this is just a way to check that we are not colliding to itself it's it's just write it because it's uh, you know it's give us uh, give you a guarantee that you're not messing up with your code okay so I'm just going uh, type there and uh, if we are not colliding with ourselves what we know uh, what we want to do is uh, we're gonna access those contact points and instantiate uh, that thing so <laughs> it's gonna be pretty easy so I'm just gonna create a for loop for uh, at the very beginning and it's gonna be having a variable i which is gonna be equals to zero and i should be smaller than other is to contacts I guess it's contact contacts dot length length and also I'm gonna increment i at every frame okay also let's just go ahead and uh, add this to the condition so that we we don't have to run this code every time if we are not colliding with a collider so I'm just gonna go ahead and type um, if uh, this is equals to 
is not equals to zero, I guess. Okay. There we go. If it's not equals to zero, then execute this statement, and then we're gonna go ahead and type instantiate. Sorry, instantiate. Okay, now we're gonna instantiate a Spark, but where? Where are we gonna instantiate it? So we're gonna instantiate at other dot contacts i dot point. Now contacts, I told you contacts is an array, so we can access it by going every and each element of it by using this for loop. And we are going in and we're gonna access this vector three variable, which is which can be accessed by point. And there we go, there we have a vector three variable. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna add the rotation. So I'm not really curious about the rotation right now, so I'm just gonna put it on quaternion identity. So I'm just gonna go quaternion identity in the statement and this should be it and it should be working so let's just check it out should be working let's check the code is compiled or not okay yeah it doesn't show up any error okay by the way this is a cube wall every and each element of it let me show you uh, oh wait lags Lags, 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 I hate him. Hate him, totally hate him. Okay, so if you look at uh, this wall, there are cubes, and every cube have a rigid body, so they are handled by physics engine. I created them to check uh, this thing out, and if you look at it over here, I'm just gonna collide this car with it, so you can see. You can see it is instantiating the sparks. at the points where it should be. You know, let's just try one more thing. Um, I'm just gonna delete it. And uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, create a cube right over here. There we go. I'm gonna put it up. Then we're gonna add components physics rigid body. And let's see. I'm sorry for the lags, I can't do anything about it, but you can see what is going on. You can see the sparks are instantiating at the positions where the collider is being collided with the, with the car. So it's kind of a thing that we need. And uh, now let's move on to the sound effect. Okay, so in order to create the sound effect, what we need is an empty game object, uh, like we have done in the skating sound effect. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click on the car create an empty game object there we go actually you don't really have to click on the car I'm just gonna take it out and I'm gonna add a component uh, which is gonna be um, go ahead and go audio source and, uh, and uh, oh my god my neighbor is screaming dumbass um, I don't know what's wrong with them <laughs> uh, I then go to uh, or to the dude strong with him I'm just gonna go destroy timer script and I'm not gonna destroy it for after th after seven seconds I'm just gonna destroy it after three seconds so there we go there we should have a sound when we start the game okay and the game object should destroy itself good and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new prefab and this prefab I'm just gonna go ahead and type sound sound uh, sorry collision sound damn it collision sound and we're gonna drag this game object to the collision sound we're gonna drag this to the prefabs because I import I said it in some other place okay now delete this now all you have to do is go to the go over here and uh, go to the top and create a variable called collision sound and it's gonna be an up type game object there you go end the statement and we're gonna go down we're gonna go down at the really bottom 
okay so we're gonna use the same code same line of code we're gonna put it right over here and it's gonna be collision sound collision sound okay now it should be working uh, probably no spelling mistakes okay uh, car then we should have a variable there you go collision sound attach it right there and uh, now it should be working okay I guess it's working oh my god lags Oh, I hate it okay so it's working now uh, one more thing that I, I like to do but it's not really compulsory so if we it's an optional for you because uh, some people like their uh, collision sound to be attached to the game object so that it won't gonna look creepy and it's look kind of creepy for me so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a variable over here uh, right beside to the instantiate collision sound uh, I'm just gonna name it as clone I don't know why I'm typing it but let's see uh, and it's an up type game object game object and it's gonna be equals to this alright now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go clone sorry clone dot transform dot parent is equals to transform now this is not necessary so you can skip this part and uh, this will gonna make this sound to attach to the collider which is attached to the car basically attached to the I'm gonna just create a child object of it so it's gonna be pretty easy so that's all of it that's all the things that you need for today's episode and uh, for anything else that you have uh, that you are having problem with you can contact me on my facebook page youtube don't contact me on youtube because youtube sucks at being a, a type of social network or anything but it sucks so you can contact me on my facebook page i'm not available anywhere else so yeah i'll catch you in my next episode till then goodbye and stuff that i like <laughs> okay so <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be it and I'll catch you in my next episode till then goodbye and I'll catch you in my next episode bye